Hey there, friends. Happy Woden's Day to you. I do not know how did it get to be Woden's Day so soon. Like, wasn't it just last Woden's Day? I, time is flying by, my friends. It is just going way, 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 way fast. I hope all of you are doing good today. I have two new uh, soft cover journals to go in the shop. These are made from 6x9 manila envelopes. They have some uh, sparkly netting on them, so we'll just go through these right fast. I hope you guys are having a really, really good day. It's uh, We've had a bit of a weather change here, and it's kind of a wee bit cooler, and uh, hey, y'all, we haven't had any rain in like four days. It's amazing. No rain in four days. Um, these are not the, you know, we were doing a Halloween theme. We were doing a Christmas theme. These are not quite the holiday theme thing, but they are seasonally themed because these books are very fall-ish. Um, I purposely chose colors that uh, that were fall-like. Uh, you can see that I've chosen brown flowers. Uh, the basic background has a little bit of brown in it and some orange as well. A little bit of yellow here. It does feature a pretty little bird on the front and it says she was herself again. It features a beautiful bead strand just chock full of gorgeous Czechoslovakian crystal beads, glass beads. There's only one there's only one plastic bead on here, and that's right there, but doesn't she go nicely with the rest of the book? Let's take a look inside. Now, I did do these a little differently, you guys, as far as the closure goes. I did put our Brad and uh, Stretchy String closure on these. Of course, we do have Harry Paper Clips up here for you guys to play with as well, because we just know that a Harry Paper Clip can just make your day. It just makes your day fun. <laughs> these are kind of like between a junk journal and a flow journal. Lots and lots of writing spaces. I think this time of year is, um, I love these word sentences right here. Of course, you can pull out this entire page and just work with the word collections here. It's the time of year where we kind of sit back and we... we um, reflect about uh, where we've been, you know, maybe we're making plans about uh, 2019 and what we would like to do and what we feel uh, called to do. And I think that this little book is just the perfect thing for writing, thinking, uh, list making, you can see all the white spaces here, planning, it is just a sweet little book. I've included some copy dot papers here for you. Love this image of the reindeer in the sky. Um, textural pieces for you. Just an assortment of fun papers to play with. Uh, this is a little card that says Shine Bright. I do have a nice smattering of magazine pages as well as um, as well as scrapbooking paper in here. Our dear friend Gail noticed that we needed some fall themed fabric swatches. So she sent us a bunch of fabric swatches. Thank you, Gail. She's always, um, gosh, what do you say about Gail? <laughs> she's just awesome. That is all there is to it. Uh, she is just She's a great creator. I love the way she creates because a lot of times I'll just get like a random envelope and it will have the coolest things in it. And she's like, I wanted to play last night and this is what I came up with and now you're getting it. So it's very, just totally, totally sweet, you guys. Um, lots of images in here for you to play with. We've got ATCs in here. This is, uh, I love this image of this guy right here. And if you'll flip on through, you can see lots and lots of places for you to write. You know, you can also add photographs to something like this. It's kind of the season where we document family and friends and visits. You know, you could put this in a guest bedroom and have your guests uh, write, you know, their memories. Or it would be fun to have this at, at a guest cabin. Um, and be able to note, um, 
you know, note the things that you did while you were staying at the cabin. That's a sweet idea. And this will go in the shop a little later on this afternoon. Now remember, y'all, I'm having a 10% off sale of anything in any sale over $10 in the shop through Sunday. So this is a great time to kind of snap up something at a, at a really good price. This book features a fairy, and it says she could believe. It's got gold leaves on it, the brownish, tannish uh, flowers down here, a sweet little bead strand. I really do like the way that the fairy came out as I was doing my collage layers. I put her on the bottom and then I put the sparkly netting on the top and it just seemed to to create like a little more sparkle for a fairy. Let's take a look through here. I love this photo. To me it looks like that bird is eating the moon. A sweet look at some yoga and meditation. I love this. This is a uh, this is from National Geographic magazine. It's got the best images, and I'm I'm really appreciative to my friends who have a subscription, and they always share it with me. It's just so nice to have that beautiful element to work with. Lots of places to write. Maybe paste in photographs or. Uh, write about your day, make a list. That's Kronk panting in the background. Another little pocket for you to play with. That'd be fun to have some Monopoly ephemera in here. And this is a Rolodex card. You can alter that. ATCs, bookmarks. A little bit of vintage text paper. A little double pocket here. And they had a bright pop of color. So pretty. I love this image. This was from a magazine. I love her white hair. <laughs> and the little, she has on these little bat ears. Can you see that? That has a little skull right there. Just cute. I think that was in an article about twins. And how twins are often featured in movies from National Geographic as well. Beautiful fabric. Coffee dyed papers that also smell like raspberry because I do use used raspberry tea bags in my coffee and tea dyeing as well. Um, I really do love the way these colored index cards, coffee dyed. They turned out really well. More white spaces for you to play with. And another pocket of goodies for you right here. And this one is finished off with a Tim Holtz number brad number six. So there you go, guys. I will have these in the store. It's Wednesday, and I will have them in the store just a little later on today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great Woden's Day. Talk to you soon.